And I'm back. What I got here today is I got my check engine light has showed up on the dash of my 2006 Mazda 5. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that and maybe fix it. Let's get started. So what I got here is one of these little code readers you can pick up just about anywhere. They start at about $25. What they'll do is they'll read the codes and they'll give you some type of a description about what the code means. And uh, very often, if it's not an airbag or a seat belt or something like that, they'll allow you to reset it. We're going to plug that into the OBD2 port under the dash. Now, it's in different places on different vehicles. On this particular car, there's a port for it right here. Most times, it'll be under the dash on the driver's side somewhere. Okay, so we're going to go to Diagnose, and it's going to process. Okay, DTCs in this ECU. So those are diagnostic trouble codes in this computer of the vehicle. It says there's one recorded there, okay? So let's go, okay. Read the codes, okay. Okay, it's a P2188. Generic, uh, the system is too rich at idle, idle bank one. And it says code one of two. So there should be another code there. Let's see if there's another code. Two of two. Generic two of two, system too rich at idle, idle bank one. And that's a P, uh, the first one is a P2188. And the second one is a code P2188. Okay, so that's the code we have. Okay, so now that you know what the code is, it's a P2188, go online and you can find what that means and it might give you a, a, a solution for a fix, depending on what the code is. In this particular one, what it said was it could be the mass airflow sensor, and that usually means it's dirty or malfunctioning. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is clean it and see if that uh, remedies the problem. Often it does. Uh, other than that, it could be an oxygen sensor, and that gets a little more expensive as it goes. It's still something that you can change yourself, but uh, let's start with the simplest one. Uh, most often what happens is the mass airflow sensor, which is just a tiny little sensor wire in the airstream between the filter and the engine, uh, it gets dirty and it doesn't read right and it sends a code, okay? So uh, I've got some mass airflow sensor cleaner uh, to clean this with. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, don't use any other fluid on this little sensor. It's very sensitive, okay? Uh, don't use WD-40, don't use PB Blaster, don't use uh, alcohol, don't use anything else. Uh, there's only uh, the one thing that you can use on it is, is sensor cleaners. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken off a few covers the, off the engine. Took the shroud off the middle here and there's a cover that covers right here. Got those out of the way. See, this is the air box here, the square. That's where your air filter is right there. So you look for a sensor that's in the air stream between the air box and the engine, okay? So here it is right here. Here's the mass airflow sensor. They're all a little different on every vehicle, but if you look up your make and model of vehicle and look for the mass airflow sensor, look for images, say Google images, you should find a picture of your mass airflow sensor. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect it. Okay, this one here is a push and pull tab. So we disconnected it like that. And we're gonna remove the screws. One and two. Like that. And it should just pull straight out. Okay, now you have to be very careful with this thing. Uh, don't touch any of the little wires. Sometimes you'll see a wire across an opening like that. That'll be the, the sensing wire. You see one right there. Don't put your fingers on it. We're just gonna set this aside and we're gonna spray clean it with mass airflow sensor cleaner. Okay, you're gonna spray 10 to 15 little short shots of solvent on the wire and the housing without contacting it directly with the straw. So, okay, let's try this. Over. Some more. Okay. 
That's that about a dozen or so sprays. Okay, once you've got that thoroughly sprayed, thoroughly cleaned, sit it somewhere for 15 minutes so it dries completely. You don't want to put it back in and energize it while it still might be wet with some of this chemical. Okay, the sensor is set out in the sun for 15 minutes. It's completely dry. Let's put that in the vehicle. Okay, so it goes in with the orientation for the plug towards the plug, just like that. Okay. Okay, and we're going to reconnect the connector on it, snap it in there, okay. Okay, we're going to take our code reader, we're going to plug it back into the OBD2 port under the dash. Okay, then we're going to diagnose, we're going to go diagnose. Okay, it's, it's still reading that code because it hasn't been erased. Okay, erase the codes. Okay, we've already read the codes. So erase the codes, go down one, okay. Clear reset emission related diagnostic information, are you sure? Yes, okay. Please turn ignition on with the engine off, press the enter key to continue. So the key is in the on position, the engine is not running. That's okay, so press okay. And after we've erased the codes, we'll go back in and check for codes. It has no fault codes, very good. Okay, so the code has been erased in the computer. The mass airflow sensor has been cleaned and reinstalled. Let's now test drive the vehicle and see if the light stays away. And there you have it, I've, I've driven the vehicle about 10 miles and no light showed up on the dash, no check engine light. Prior to this fix, uh, the light would come on immediately. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you here again soon on Everyday Projects. Bye for now.